No. Nowhere in the manual does it say how to open gifts. The game doesn't say it, the manual doesn't say it. Can you even open presents? So, the message of what I've gathered from this whole thing is that items are fucking worthless. Good night. You can't, like, they don't show up in the collection. They don't have any kind of inventory to, to equip them. Basically, How should I spend the day? basically all the items in this game are f fucking worthless other than the tickets to do other events. So fuck it, I'm just going to buy all them, wherever, wherever the fuck they are. Fucking... What? Can the characters actually, actually use these? Because that'd be kind of cool, I guess. Surprised to see something so modest, honestly. Oh, fuck it. No, damn it. I wanted to cancel. Fuck. Oh, whatever. I don't care, games. Let me get on with the playing. How, how did they manage to take a game as simple as Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball and do a sequel that's worse in almost every way? Okay, so I don't understand that this mode is basically impossible. You know? Why would I want to accelerate? It would be funny just to see this if they did a DOAX three, and they had uh, the male cast as well, and you could and you, you could watch like Bay Bay Man do this. Yeah, wait to throw me out as soon as I get started. I was trying to decelerate. The f what French fries? What the fuck are you talking about, game? I honestly don't know what the fuck this game's problem is. God. I don't know why you'd ever want to accelerate. Well, I suppose he's going for a good time, but... Given that speed will just get you fucking killed... Let's face it, when you're that high up and you fly off, you're going to die. Oh, that's why you speed up. Duh. Oh, marine race. Oh. Actually, I'll just... I'll... Oh, I can't... I've... Apparently, I can't do it again. Oh, it's here. Water slide, right. So you, have to go, you have to choose a different location to find the right one. That's dumb. But I'll give it one more go. Just have this entire day be about this. And try and do it. I don't know. Haven't the characters giggle like that? They, come up, they make them seem like really just vapid bimbos. And that, I, don't, I don't like that. Like, like, no effect. Uh, no. Don't fucking do that! Don't have it go have the character go upside down without the camera going upside down because then it gets confusing about which way you're supposed to to turn. Now it's time for my bubble bath. Yeah, so I'm not doing that fucking slide again. It's awful. I don't want more fucking gifts from Zach. I can't open them. Nice. Right, so I assume it's, I guess sleeping is only something you can only do a certain number of times throughout the entire thing. I don't know why. I mean, since this whole thing's really about doing things your own way, that should be an option. So dumb. Uh, I don't want to play fucking beach flags. Ah. Let's do a butt battle. I'm going to lose this as well. 
Attack, strong attack. Dodge, sidestep. Okay. What? What? This feels great. No, it fucking doesn't. I, I really don't understand how, how it's possible to make Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball worse, but they fucking managed somehow. And it really is amazing that that, that, that is even possible. Like, DOEX 1 wasn't that bad, it was actually pretty decent, you if you can get into it. DOEX 2 is just atrocious. You up with me? Hmm. Who do you think you are? Forget it. Wow, what a bitch. I suppose you have your reasons. And this is why I don't like Ayane as a character. Such a cunt. You know, so she's supposed to have this. She has this really sympathetic backstory, but it's still impossible to to be sympathetic towards her when she's such a bitch to everyone. Fucking hater. Uh. I've, I've tried beach flag flags with Leif Fang because I, I guarantee Tina would be impossible to beat. Because Tina is like an Amazon or something. Oh. Uh, this cannot be. So it's just an outright loss if you do that. You have to wait for it to load again. I really can't wait for this to be over because it's getting dark out here. It's like it's like it's almost like this was this was designed <gasps> just to take the piss out of people who bought it, like as if to get back at anyone who ever criticised. DOAX1, it's like, yeah, you fucking blame DOAX2, you sad bastard. God. Uh. Good night. At this rate, it's probably going to be over before, um. Before, re uh, before I've reached what six episodes. So basically, most of the people, most of them are just sticking around for the races because, well, I can't blame them because it's the best fucking thing to do in the game. Like, like how the fuck, how the fuck did the team just immediately beat me in the butt battle just each time? Just instantly beat me every single time I tried to do anything. So I try, I tried dodging, and she hits me after a after a dodge before we even moved back. I tried to attack her, and she just attacks me and knocks me off. Just awful. I don't. If I know the subtitles, look, it's really on there for the for the uh, volleyball and I, I, the victory poses and stuff. That's check. It's not there for in game. Fuck. And that's what always pissed me off with the uh, DOA was uh, was the fact that the uh, that they, they, that they never had subtitles in game. So when the character actually says something as a taunt, you don't know what they're saying because it's all in Japanese. But it was actually, it made me think of a DOA 2 English dub, where it was only the actual spoken dialogue and like the cutscenes and the taunts and victory poses. Everything else was just, they just kept the Japanese ones. So you had these radically different voices. That I really just didn't, didn't go well together. Like, Ryu's a good example, you know, you know what his Japanese voice is like. His English voice in DOA 2 is really fucking deep. And it's nothing like Hideyuki Hori's voice. So it just didn't work in the slightest. Yeah, so basically, if you're gonna play if you wanna play a DOAX game. You know, honestly it'd be, it'd be a, a better you'd be better off spending money on an original Xbox and DOAX one. Instead of buying DOAX2. And I know this one's got the English voice acting, but it's just shit. I don't know what DOA Paradise is like. Because. Like, DOA Paradise basically. I think it builds on this. Builds on DOA2. But it's, you know. 
I don't really know anything about Paradise other than the fact that it's a PSP version of the OAX. Effectively. With some extra mold and an extra character. Another extra character is not Nikki for some reason. It was another guest character. Uh, Rio from, I think, I think called Rio Rainbow Gate or something. And I win. They should, make, they, should make, they should just make Dead or Alive Extreme fucking jet skiing. It's the best fucking thing there is. And again, I, don't, I still don't know if it's jet ski or war ski. I should actually just check the manual, see what it says. Unless it just says marina race. Uh, Own your old machine. It does not actually say. Lovely. I don't- what- what fried chicken? What the- what the fuck it- I can only assume these are the gifts I've been getting. But I don't know how to fucking actually look at them. Come on. I have to get this right at least once. Get set. Go. Am I just wasting my time here though? Just- Yeah, suck it, bitch. And that's... And that's Eleanor's revenge for the death of her mother. That's about as much revenge as she ever gets. Yeah. So this game, as you can tell, is simply atrocious in, in almost every conceivable way. So much so that I'm just going to fucking skip it. What the fuck is up with the hair? What the hell is going on with the hair? Wow, this just looks awful. I don't know why everyone it gets all uppity about the, the breast physics in the game. I mean, the hair physics are even worse. Look at it! Fucking hell. Simply wondrous. Whatever. I'm gonna start trying to cut out on the, cut out the. No, I wanna skip. Ugh. I'm gonna try cutting out the load screen to where I can. Oh, such a tiny, tiny room. Stop saying that. You've been here before. You've been here every night. We're up to like day seven or something by this point, and you're still banging on about it. Christ. I quit the game. I could quit right here. I have that option. But no, I'm going to have to see it through to the end. I might have to get through a bunch of days really quickly. And just cut it short. Let us rest for a while. And just not do the six episodes. Just do five or something and then have a day break or something. For Dead or alive, extreme two. Before moving on to DOA 5. Hopefully I won't get my fucking ear shouted off again. This game's fucking atrocious.